Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, August 5th, 2024. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Uh, here's a look at the ES in the daily time frame. A very serious meltdown going on across the board here in the market. ES right now down 4% ahead of the RTH open over. 225 points of range currently, 227% of ADR before the RTH open even begins. A serious meltdown over the last three days, uh, Thursday, Friday, and now into Monday here. This is the largest two-day decline we had seen in years, and now the largest three-day decline we have seen uh, likely since the COVID initial COVID meltdown. Massive, massive weakness here, head and shoulder pattern that is developed here in the ES has released a massive break through the neckline and is dropping us through the next major market structure zone below one thing we mentioned Friday is the break here that has occurred at the 5400 level at the very least opens up a test into 5000 down below remember the ES moves in 400 point market structure increments here 5400 was the next highest here as it was working toward 5800 but the failure at 54 opens up uh, 5000 and the previous quarter's low that could provide a bounce point here but a failure to hold that level starts to open up 4600 as the next major level down below that this is a huge violation a major break of the structure that has developed since at the very least uh, last December uh, well, rather, the last Q4 rally of last year, which really bottomed out in October and rallied into December. That major line has held this entire way on this uptrending price action. This violation, though, takes you right back toward the previous quarter's low with a shot to continue further below that. Uh, 4,600 would be the next major level down below that. So right now, a major meltdown developing here in these markets. A, a huge impulsive move to the downside. Uh, best case scenario from the, from the bullish perspective would be for these markets to find a strong low and snap back toward the midpoint of the impulse move. That could provide at least a holding pattern for now and kind of stops the initial bleeding. But as of right now, this is not a market to fade. Uh, it's either uh, protecting positions, trimming positions, or outright shorting uh, into this selling pressure. So right now, heavy, heavy selling pressure across the board. The ES down 4 plus percent. The NQ right now down over 5 percent as this market also makes a move to the previous quarter's low. Uh, at the moment, 200 percent of ADR ahead of the RTH open. Uh, down uh, right now with a range of over a thousand points a thousand thirty nine points of range at the moment just reached a new low here in the recent hour and you're seeing heavy heavy selling pressure toward this previous quarter's low in the seventeen hundred level a violation again in that zone and you start to open up even lower levels that can take us back toward 15k so 17k is going to be a big time area to test like the ES right now, uh, best case scenario from a bullish perspective would be some sort of bounce back to the midpoint of the Thursday high to whatever low we find. And that could provide an, an impulsive move and a new key range that gives us uh, some boundaries to work with here and we could see this thing kind of hold. Uh, but that's not likely at this moment. So that would be the best case scenario from a bullish perspective as of right now this market in a full-on downside price discovery phase and still has lower levels to go get up ahead uh, crude oil down at the moment one and a half percent trading a new low here below the key range low the key range low here was developed June 4th and that key range low is 72.48 Right now we're at 7236 uh, below that level, taking a tumble the last several days alongside the broader market as well. And we could be looking at a test of the lows of the year. Lows of the year come into play here around 6970, right in that zone. And then you have the Q4 lows that take you 
into about 6772 that would be a key range low as well so right now working its way downward toward that target at the moment uh, as this thing is now trading prices below the key range low again from a bullish perspective if bulls can reject the key range low here there could be a bounce back toward the middle of the key range but right now again no signs of a strong low in the least at the moment uh, if we take a look here at gold futures this one down 1.9 percent big time drop here away from uh, recent new all-time highs Friday marked 25 22 half as a new all-time high and um, right now giving up the 2480 level as we've noted before this one here moving in about uh, 200 point increments and 400 point larger distribution so 2280 here to 2480 here it's been in that range uh, ten, the tendency here would be if you have a major market meltdown then gold could be a defensive play that takes you higher but at the moment you can see down nearly two percent here as this thing is melting down as well perhaps if it can hold the previous month's midpoint there could be a bit of a bounce and a recovery out of this one a failure here at 2400 and you open up a bit more downside out of gold the YM also seeing selling pressure not quite as heavy as tech or the ES down 2.8 percent but still 1200 points of range 204 percent of average range already 1200 points of range the RTH bill has not even rung and it's already more than the last two days which were heavy heavy 1000 point days Friday was 900 and change so big time selling pressure again you have a strong high that developed here and the FOMC key level going straight offered big time big time rejection at that level and we've seen heavy selling pressure away from it can we get an impulsive move back toward the midpoint of that initial sell-off at some point over the next day or two find a strong low and work our way back if not this thing is working its way down to the previous quarter's low at the very least that's going to be 37.5 down here and it will take us back to that strong low uh, before the recent uh, new all-time high so we could be looking at further selling pressure into 37.5 at the very least up ahead uh, looking at Bitcoin down 19 percent right now it was down over 20 percent momentarily ago uh, just now bouncing in the recent few minutes off these lows and recovering a little bit this thing just hit prices below 50,000 for the first time since the initial uh, rally post uh, spot ETF back in February so uh, this market was hanging out near the 40,000 level rallied up to 50,000 and exploded through 50 into about 74.4 this is the the first time we've come in there since uh, February major major meltdown look at the gap down on a Sunday night in the futures taking the 200 day major offered and uh, dropping below 50k for the first time since February a massive meltdown here down 19 percent right now and a 10,000 point day a 10,000 point day at the moment and that's just from high to low of the open close that's not even to say from the previous close the previous close to to the where we are now over 12,000 points so a major meltdown in Bitcoin and even more in ETH which we'll see here in a moment 50,000 a major market structure level this thing moving in 10,000 point increments you have 70,000 here you have 60,000 here and then you have 50 right there and 40 down here so is this an opportunity for bulls to defend the 50k level or do we start to walk it back even further into 40,000 down below that's gonna be again something we're gonna to have to find out can this market find a strong low and bounce back to an impulsive midpoint We have a very strong high here and selling pressure that's happened over the last week of trading again can we snap back and form a new key range or do we continue to melt down back toward 40k lastly looking at ETH this thing down 25 percent right now 25 percent it off the lows of the overnight trade it did hit 2200 2200 a major key level for this market this thing moves in 700 point increments so you have 2200 right there uh, plus 700 and it takes you to 2900 right there 
plus 700, and you're at 3,600 right there. Uh, and from 2,200 minus 700, you're at 1,500 uh, right there. So those are the 700-point increments that we've been watching as market structure distributions in this particular market. It went from above 3,000 on the finish on Friday and has melted down over 760 points since that point. Uh, a current daily range of 588 points and again down over 25 percent right now 357 percent of ADR and we're at the next market structure level so again this is an important spot right here because if we fail through 2200 you open up the next market structure zone below which can take you theoretically into 1500 down below so this is a very important spot right here bulls need to find a strong low and perhaps there can be a bounce back toward 2900 and you can stay in this market structure zone for a while otherwise you're opening up 1500 down below so big time zone right here 2200 for ethereum all right that is it for now we'll see how this develops here heading into the rest of the week good luck trade well and i'll see you in the trading room take care